Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I've got some brown spots out in the lawn I'd like to fix up, but hey, I'm an English major, so what do I know about the science of grass? These as seen on TV folks though, they say, trust me, I'm a doctor of grassology. Epic Review Guys. Grassology, is that not a scientific sounding name for grass seed? I was at the local drugstore looking at the as seen on TV section, and I found grassology. It's even got Bob Villa saying, hey, this is great stuff. Well, actually, it doesn't have him saying that. It has a picture of him with his name, and then it says Grassology. So how much of an endorsement that is, I don't know, but I like him. I would like to think if he's recommending it, it's good stuff. Um, this grass is supposedly specially scientifically engineered to grow roots deeper, to not grow so fast, to not grow so tall, so you don't need to mow it fertilize it, or water it very often. Now as someone who hates mowing the lawn, this is a dream come true type of grass, but it makes me wonder, why isn't all grass like this? They, they claim this is um, golf course type grass, where you have that not too tall, very even, thick, luxurious, beautiful on the rolling hills kind of grass. Now my backyard looks more like Ma and Pa Kettle's family lives there. I don't expect that grass seed can change that, but how likely is it that this seed can actually fill in those brown patches? Let's see what's inside. So what's the name of this new, specially engineered grass seed with all these great qualities? Well, what do we have in the bag? We have creeping red fescue, hard fescue, tall fescue, some bluegrass, some ryegrass. Well, I know all of those names. It seems like that grass has already been developed, and it does have some good characteristics. For example, the fescue does tend to put down very long roots. But like all grasses, it has its downsides. All, of, all grasses are a trade-off between drought resistance and insect resistance and how they look and how thick they are, how tall they grow and so forth. So I don't see that newly engineered type of grass listed here as being in the bag. So Bob Via and all, I'm a little dubious about this to start with, but I'll put a link to it down below this video if you'd like to check it out. I paid $20 for this three pound bag of seed. I think that's a little on the high side. I remember a few years ago getting some seed that specifically suited for our local area and it wasn't quite that expensive. When I look at where this seed comes from, I've got Canada and Oregon and it's sold out of New Jersey. So I don't know how well it's going to do in central Texas. It's supposed to cover 750 square feet. So that should be ample for what I need. Let's head to the backyard and spread this seed. Here's the patch I'm going to put it on. They do recommend raking first in the area to get rid of the leaves and any debris so that you can sprinkle the seed directly on the soil. Well, the more I rake, the more I realize my whole yard is like a bear patch, but let's see what this can do anyway. Here's what the seed looks like. Pretty typical looking grass seed, and they do say if you're not going to use a spreader, which I suppose you should use for even distribution, to spread it out to about that amount on the surface and then gently rake it to mix it in a little bit with the soil. Here is the seed spread over my bare patch. I am now going to rake it in gently and then do a little watering. The grassology seed has been gently raked in. Now time to do a light watering of this area. You do have to keep it moist for 30 days, which means daily watering for 30 days. It's about to start sprinkling here right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of a little light rain coming our way. So it's watered in. We've got a little light rain on the way, which should be good. In about a week, I'm expecting to see something. I'll do a quick follow-up at that point, but I really can't tell you whether I'd recommend this or not for about a month until I see how well it comes in and fills in. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, who gives to a try? What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.